Good morning children. Today's lesson is about Governor Thomas Maitland. So we have already studied about the first governor, the first British governor in Sri Lanka. He was uh, Governor Frederick North. So we have seen and we have studied about uh, the invasions that were led by Governor Frederick North and at the end of the period of his service Thomas Maitland he was the second governor who was appointed as the governor of Ceylon in 1805 so Maitland uh, he was more strategic than North so we have already studied how uh, Frederick North how he led the invasions and how uh, his invasion in 183 was unsuccessful because he did not know about the war and also he was not um, aware of the uh, Candian geographical locations and about the guerrilla warfare that the Candians adopted. So because of this we have seen that he did not have a proper plan when he led this uh, invasion in 183. But when you look at uh, this governor, Thomas Maitland, he was well planned than North and he realized that the English could not achieve the expected victories as long as a healthy relationship would exist between the king and the people of Kandy. So what did he do? He noticed that if the people of Kandy was, were very good with the king, if the king and the people were united, then uh, they could not intervene into the Candy Candian Kingdom and capture it. So what did he thought? What did he do? Uh, he was um, carefully waiting for an opportunity uh, to create disputes between the king and the people. So therefore, Governor Maitland adopted a very strategic uh, policy towards the Candian Kingdom. Some of the key features of the strategic policy of Maitland were to act in a way that led to the escalation of the existing internal disputes within the kingdom and to secretly collect all information about the kingdom. So his plan was to somehow uh, go into the Candian Kingdom and he wanted to create problems between the king and uh, his people. So if they create disputes between the king and the people and create disputes within the kingdom and uh, if there is lack of unity within the kingdom, it is very easy for the British people to capture the Candian kingdom. So what did he do? He had certain plans and he actually wanted to create internal disputes within the Candian kingdom and to secretly collect information about the kingdom. So he actually wanted to spy the Candian kingdom. He sent spies and also he uh, tried to collect their secrets. Now there are secrets within the Candian kingdom which only uh, were known to the king of Candy and also to the other people uh, within the kingdom. So what did he do? He wanted to spy on these things and he sent certain people to spy and he also wanted to get this information. So when they know the information, when they know the secrets of the Candian Kingdom, it will, it will be very easy for them to launch the attack. Say uh, if they know the weaknesses of the Candian Kings and the Candian Kingdom, it is easy for them to launch the attack very easily. So in order to uh, implement these policies, he employed a skillful officer called John Doyley. So he had an officer called John Doyley. This person was under uh, this governor, Thomas Maitland. So if you look at John Doyley, he was also a very employed, um, a well employed, a very well skillful, uh, a very clever person. So John Doyley was the spy whom uh, Thomas Maitland sent to the Candian Kingdom. So the John Doyley, he was a person uh, who was actually a British native. He was born in England in 1774 and he came to Sri Lanka as a government officer after completing his education. So while serving in this country as an officer of the public administration uh, service or the civil service, he also studied Singhala being an efficient young officer. He learned Singhala within a short period of time and gained an understanding about the traditions and customs of the people of this country. So what happened? John Doyley, 
he was a person who was very very well educated so he came to sri lanka and what did he do he disguised himself as a uh, singhalese person he studied singhala and he associated singhalese people very closely uh, and he actually there are sources which tell, tell us that uh, he used to chew betel and you know present himself as a complete singhalese he mingled with these people and uh, were having very close relationships with the singhala people so he gained an understanding about the traditions and the customs of our people and he went on to work as a government translator so he was actually the translator uh the government translator who was working under governor thomas maitland so governor thomas maitland having understood the capabilities of john doyley employed him to collect intelligence information on the candian kingdom so what did uh, thomas maitland do he also wanted a person who was able to go and collect informations from the candian kingdom so what did he do he used this person he used john doyley uh, in order to employ him and collect intelligence information on the candian kingdom so thomas maitland he was not a person like uh, the first governor he was not like governor frederick north but he was a very intelligent person who used certain tactics in order to capture the candian kingdom so this is the lesson for today i want you all to watch this video and read your textbooks and write a short note about governor thomas maitland I hope you all understood the lesson if you all have any doubts you all can contact me through the zoom app god bless you all